No, it's true. You know, walk down the street, there's a camera crew following me. You people like, I, I don't know who they are. They just keep following me. <laughs> I, I ask them to stop and they won't. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure, Sally, you're happy he said what he said in oh, the yeah. beginning because it probably wouldn't have been the same type of movie if he hadn't. Right. And, you know, he was young. He was 24. And um, mm -hmm. he's, you know, he's more savvy now. <laughs> yeah. Well, which is smart in some ways, but at the same time, how many people have 10 years of their lives documented to be able to go back and look at what they've done? Mm -hmm. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I cringe. I cringe. <laughs> you know. Come on. Nobody likes to look at themselves 10 years and go, oh, marvelous. No, I'm like, oh, tff. did I really say that? Oh, what was I thinking? But, you know, it's, it's captured on film. Thank you for... You're welcome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks well, for posterity. Sally, what do you hope people walk away thinking after watching this movie? Um, I, I wanted to try and show the real, um, the huge amount of work um, and artistry that goes into cooking at such a high level and with somebody as talented as Paul and that every dish is so incredibly thought out and tested and um, so that when people come in and they say, could I have this on the side or could I, I want my this well done. And when chefs, you know, they can, they're like, what? But that, that's such a beautiful piece of meat and that's such a great cut of fish. How can they? Look, honestly, <laughs> look, I mean, the realism of the thing is I'm not the one eating or paying for the food. So if that's what they want, that's what they want. I can strongly suggest <laughs> that they don't have it that way. But ultimately, if that's what they want, that's what they want. Right. We're in a consumer business. So... Um, I, I've, no, 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 come on, come on. I've never been that stereotypical chef. You, know, no, you want salt no, and run out to the dining room and be like, out. I've never been like that, never. Like, Somebody uh, wants it this way, okay, if that's the way you'd like it, then we'll prepare it that way. That's your choice. I, I always. Yeah. You know. But this is my thing. Yeah, but don't make me sound like I'm no, like no, some you, raving loony. You're not, but, you're you know, not. She just said that. Run out with a chopping knife and... <laughs> <laughs> but in a way, though, Paul, it may, when people watch us, may help them kind of rethink when they are ordering off the menu to maybe ask, how would the chef recommend it being prepared? You know, um, no. food in general is a very sub subjective thing, probably more than any other art form. Um, I say art form because there's a lot of variation in food, and it's a craft, but there is also art to it, art with baking or chocolate work or whatever you want to do. There's science and art to that. So people like things differently all around the world and everybody has a certain likes and dislikes when it comes to food who am i to tell someone that they can't have something a certain way when they come to eat what i do think though is that if you're going to make the choice to come to my restaurant you're putting yourself in my hands and you should trust me because that's the the bond that you're you're forming with me when you sit down and eat is that you're trusting the chef to deliver a beautiful meal um, but you know, people want what they want, so ultimately it's the customer rules. But, well, uh, what is your latest creation that you've made at your restaurant? Latest creation, orchid root ice cream. So um, in, in Turkey, they use orchid root to thicken custards or milk, and you can have it warm or cold. Mm -hmm. So we, um, we just most recently did a beautiful orchid ground orchid root powder into an ice cream um, with rhubarb for the spring, which is you know, rhubarb and custard, rhubarb and cream is very traditional mm -hmm. British <laughs> style of uh, spring dessert, and it's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. So, I love unique yeah. things. I right. just, you know, it's, it's come. always neat to come try. To me, come to mm. me. I don't think I could afford your restaurant based on what you've said. <laughs> no, it's pretty reasonable. What all the work that goes into it. It's yeah, no, it sounds. Yeah, wonderful. honestly, if you were to think, you know, of how much work a man house go into it. Uh, the price of a barrel of oil looks pretty good right now. <laughs> really does. It's Compared to point. eating at a restaurant where it costs a lot more. And what's the name of your restaurant? Corton. Corton. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys. And it screens today? 7.30 at um, the Alamo. Yeah, great. Tonight. And, but if people don't badge or aren't going, they can catch it on HBO this summer. Right? Yeah, in June, yeah. So we're really excited about that. Mm hmm Paul's very excited. <laughs> yes. Well, That's his you. excited face. Yes, I can tell. I'm British. Sorry. <laughs> it's my excited face. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Okay, Thank you. thanks. <laughs>